Hey Naturalistas, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mia Hope, and if you're new here or you're not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. So I just recently put out a video on how to properly moisturize high porosity as well as low porosity hair. And if you haven't checked it out, make sure you do. I'll leave the link in my description box. I know a lot of people like to sit around talking about hair typing like I'm 4A, I'm 4B, or 4C. But in all honesty, knowing your hair porosity and creating a hair care regimen that is based upon your hair porosity is what's going to give you the best results for your hair, no matter your hair type. <laughs> so in this video, I'm going to be focusing on DIY treatments for low porosity hair. Low porosity hair is characterized by having really tightly closed cuticles, so these DIY treatments that I'm going to be showing you are going to be showing you how to open those cuticles up just a little bit and then I'm going to be showing you deep conditioning treatments to get the moisture into your hair while those cuticles are still opened and then also a way to close your cuticles once that whole process is done and this will leave your hair feeling super soft, shiny, and just overall healthy looking and feeling. So without further ado, let's just hop right into the first DIY treatment. If you have low porosity hair, these six ingredients will be your staple products for DIY projects. You'll be able to make conditioners, clarifying rinses, as well as hair masks with them. Before going in and making this amazing clay hair mask, you should know that when bentonite clay is mixed with any liquid, it creates an electric charge. And that electric charge is responsible for drawing out toxins, buildup, and other impurities in your hair. But for that reason, you do not want to use metal utensils. Stick to ceramic, plastic, and wooden utensils only. You can mix the clay with just enough water and or apple cider vinegar to make a nice paste like you're seeing here. After applying this to your hair, you can let it sit under a shower cap for about 30 minutes, but if you don't have time for that, you can just use it as a clay hair rinse. You'll be using this recipe right here, and you can do this after shampooing and right before you condition your hair. When you have low porosity hair, the cuticles on your hair are tightly closed and in order to moisturize your hair properly, you're going to have to do something to open them up. And baking soda will do just that. It has a pH of 9, which is responsible for opening up your cuticles, so that you can use this as a step before deep conditioning your hair. Because of baking soda's ability to open up your hair cuticles, it makes it a wonderful clarifying treatment and can be used as a shampoo or just after your shampooing once a month. Now this next treatment is one of my all-time favorite deep conditioning DIY treatments of all time. I personally love using olive oil, but if you have low porosity hair and you're prone to buildup, you'll want to use a light oil like jojoba oil. One major key with this is that you should use organic raw honey. It should be chunky like you're seeing here. Honey that is runny <laughs> and looser in texture has been heat processed. And during that heat processing, a lot of the nutrients, antioxidants, and antibacterial properties that you want have effectively been burned off. To thoroughly combine the honey and oil, you can pop this mixture into the microwave for 10 to 15 seconds. This will help twofold because the warmth will help to open up your cuticles for a deeper penetration of this powerful conditioner. Now that you've clarified your hair and opened up your cuticles with either baking soda or bentonite clay, and you've thoroughly moisturized and conditioned your locks, it's time to close your cuticles back up and seal in all that moisture with this easy apple cider vinegar rinse. And you can use this apple cider vinegar rinse after each and every single time you wash your hair. So that's it. These are all great treatments for you if you have low porosity hair. And also, again, remember that if you have low porosity hair, a lot of the treatments that you'll be doing for your hair will surround trying to open up your cuticle to allow moisture to get in. And then you always have to remember to seal that cuticle back up so the moisture doesn't get out. And you want to also focus on clarifying your hair so that you don't deal and struggle with product buildup. <laughs> As always, thanks so much for watching my video. If you're not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Make sure you hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for my next video. Bye.